In an article written by Jack McMillan, she said in B said, I agree that Anthony Davis had a better season than me. Nikola Jokic, that's debatable. But Rudy Gobert, no offense, but he averaged 15 points and 13 rebounds. And I had my 23 and 12. And that's kind of a big difference. I think my numbers were better. But people didn't want to vote for me because our team didn't do well. That's okay because I'll use that to motivate me so there's no chance that anyone can make that mistake again. Everything in B said was facts in my opinion. AD clearly had a better season than him so that's why he said that. Him saying it's the debate between him and Jokic is facts as well. Jokic is the best center in the league but when you look at their stats and team records last season, they were very similar. Jokic averaged 20 points, nearly 10 boards, 7 assists and 1 steal and the Nuggets won 46 games. Embiid averaged 23 points, 11 boards, 3 assists, and 1 block, and the Sixers won 43 games. Jokic got the slight edge since he won more games, averaged more assists, and was more efficient, but it's still a debate. But Rudy Gobert making the All-NBA team over Embiid is not a debate. He should have never made it over him at all. Rudy did put up some solid numbers, but Embiid's numbers was low-key way better, and the Jazz only won one more game than the Sixers. And if they didn't want to give it to Embiid, then they should have gave it to Carl Anthony Towns. I know the Timberwolves were trash last season, but he still put up way better numbers than him. And I know MB gotta be pretty salty about the deal Rudy just signed. Two years ago, he signed a 5-year, $147 million contract with the Sixers. Rudy just signed a 5-year, $205 million contract. That's a big difference right there. So I know MB gotta be tight, he's not getting paid nowhere near that amount when he knows he's better than him. I never thought Rudy Gobert out of all people would sign the biggest contract for a center. Just a year ago, he was crying about not making his first All-Star game. Well, there was there was a chance that I, I might not make it, but uh, just surprised, you know. I think uh, I think it's disrespectful. I mean, I feel I feel disrespected. So it's gonna be that way. And, uh, sorry. Now he's one of the highest-paid players in the league, and he just signed the biggest contract for any big. That's crazy. I wonder how Rudy's gonna react when he sees the comments and B made. I know he's not gonna like that. I can't wait till they play each other. That's gonna be a fun matchup to watch. They play each other on February 15th, so that's not too far away. And B for his career averages 20 points, 11 boards, 3 assists, and 2 blocks in 5 games against him. Rudy averages 15 points, 11 boards, 2 assists, 1 steal, and a block. And B won 3 out of the 5 games, so I know Rudy's gonna wanna tie that up. Shout out to how B plays tonight though against the Wizards. He had 29 points, 14 boards, 2 assists, and 1 block, shooting 58% from the field. He was perfect from 3, shot 88% from the line, and most importantly got the win. If he plays like this the whole season, then he's definitely going to make the All-NBA team. But what do y'all think about Rudy making the All-NBA team over him? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more vids. Peace.